Wednesday night baseball now from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Rick Porcello gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. Not necessarily an overpowering guy. Has an ERA in the low threes. But one thing he knows how to do, he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage. If you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age, you're doing a lot of things right. And this guy should be fun to watch in this one. Josh Harrison stands in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty V. I, I think one of the toughest things, D. Rowe, is to keep playing with this sense of urgency. It looks like they're playoff bound, but the thing is, you need to keep going and, and not take your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, you need to be rewarded for the marathon. That's exactly what this team has done. They've already clinched a playoff berth, and now they get ready for the sprint. Try and find a way to get healthy, but not lose focus. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. And the curveball drops in on 2-1, two, 2-2 two and two now. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Fouled off. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Throw by Pedroyle be in time, and there's your first out. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, D. Rowe? Matty, this lineup is built on one thing, and that's moving the ball over the fence. This is a station-to-station -station team. Not a lot of speed in this lineup, but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both gaps. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball that just misses inside. Mancini. Playing here in his age 26 season, he was an eighth round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Betts has a read on it. Two gone. In now for the O's. Manny Machado having a very nice year. Currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. First pitch coming here it is missed with a breaking ball time for a look at our umpires in this one working the plate is Carl Dixon Dan this is an offensive players dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish he is tight on the corner he is D row and listen he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone normally high scoring a game when Carl's behind the dish Nunez scoops it up throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. O's zero. Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Alex 
Alex Cobb gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Here's Mookie Betts. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at bat. And that one stayed too low apparently. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too big for him, completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately, that can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy, right guy, right spot. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, you know, I'm hoping to see J.D. Martinez find that form again. Looking at the last game, it was 0 for 3, but it was the way he went about that 0 for 3. He didn't look very aggressive, and actually, he looked kind of lost to me. I'm wanting to see a different player in that batter's box today. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, however, strike one. Pedroia, affectionately nicknamed Laser Show. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit out towards second. Scope has it. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Adding third, Coming in for his first at bat, Xander Bogarts. Showing some definite confidence at the plate right now, and his recent numbers are reflecting that. Cobb's ready. First pitch on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Swing and a liner. Foul. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. And he fouls this one off. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south, pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. Line to the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in the scoring position. Here's J.D. Martinez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. From the stretch. Pitch out. Nothing doing.
Bogarts. The runner at first with two gone. the hole. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through Andy the hole for a single. Left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one the numbers coming in he's at 255 15 long balls and 78 RBIs. hit back up the middle and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. Still no score. Here's Chris Davis now. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Chris Davis. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. Davis, who's often called Crush Davis. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles first baseman. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. A fastball that he's way out in front of a swing and a miss. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. And we'll get a look one more time here as we slow this play down, and you can see how quickly he reacts to the ball there as he's able to get full extension and take away the base hit. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he grounds one briskly to short. Throw on to first, and Porcello's looking good here. Two away. Batting deck, center fielder number 10, Adam Jones. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. In his career against Porcello, he's totaled 13 base hits in 66 at bats. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Takes a knee high fastball. And Jones takes this one for a ball one and one. Jones is a player referred to as clutch by teammates coaches and of course the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot and he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning three up three down for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Next up for the Red Sox, Domingo Santana. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Pitch coming. Here it is. 
Nope. And here's That's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. Zero. A ball and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Started that swing a bit too early. The one two. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Batting seven, third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Striding in for Boston, Eduardo Nunez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right now. Into the box now, JT Realmuto, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Batting average down in the low 210s. Seven homers to go along with 52 RBIs. Mine to the right side. Oh, and he botches it. And the run will score as the Sox are off to a 1-0 lead. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. In now, Sandy Leon. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A strike now to Sandy Leon. Hey, nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him a little bit. And he misses two and one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Now the 2 1 pick. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And another foul ball. Nunez over at second. Riamuto on at first with nobody out. Got him. Zero. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And let's spot shadow first baseman Chris Crush Davis. Doesn't get enough love for how soft this guy's hands are. Constantly picking middle infielders left and right. We get it. He's got power. But look for him to make a nice play on defense as well. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mookie Betts hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. 
Boy, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count, 2-0. Oh. Look out. All over the place now, 3-0. and oh. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Dero, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. First pitch on its way. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Pedroia has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Very weakly on the ground. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1 0 as we play the second. Bouncer to the left side, reined in. One there on the first, and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault out there at second base. Looked like that might be an inning-ending double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. Here's Xander Bogarts now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runners on first and third two away. Hit out towards second. Scope is there. Throw is in time and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. the pitch and a strike called at the knees nothing in one these are huge innings for a team's morale the pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead slider taken here one ball one strike And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Zero. Two one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Ready now for Baltimore, Tim Beckham. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. In his career against Porcello, he's got three base hits in 16 tries. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Another 2 2 offering. Now that ball is hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Hard hit at third. Nunez fields it cleanly. Throw to first takes care of Beckham for the second out of the inning. Batting ninth, the catcher number 30. Digging in, Caleb Joseph. First offering on its way. Yeah. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Yeah. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. 1 2 3 go the Orioles. They trail it here 2 to nothing. Riding in once again, J.D. Martinez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, is they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Count is one and two now. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this is a fair ball as it'll head toward the pesky pole and right. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Martinez stands at second with no outs.
fastball runs in tight here and it's two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off the pitch off the plate and high three and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. This is pulled into right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Ready for another chance? Domingo Santana. Domingo Santana. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Santana swings and this is hit very well out toward left field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. How about it? Well the beat Third goes on one. with this guy runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up he's thinking RBI. What does he do. Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money money run producer. Standing in now, Eduardo Nunez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Round ball right side. Davis has it. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. You know, Kiro, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches. And that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. And that misses for ball one. First and third, you know he's going to do everything he can on the mound to roll up a double play ball. On the other side, he's got to be looking for a mistake up in the zone that he can drive in the air and pick up a sack fly at the very least. And a dive, but he's back in there. One oh is looked at for the first strike. One ball, one strike. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Ball two. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Now the 2 1 down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Here now the 2 2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. 
Scope will look this one in, and there are two away now. The catcher, number three. Sandy Digging in Leon. the switch hitter, Sandy Leon. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Cobb comes set. Here comes the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate, and it bounces away. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4 nothing game. And he will score from third. And a real letdown behind the plate as that should go down as a passed ball. Now the 2-0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul. 2-1. and one. Let's go, Red Sox. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. The 2 2 one more time. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Mancini is there. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Three innings complete. The Red Sox four, and the Orioles nothing. Josh Harrison stands in. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. Oh, and one. Here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Left fielder, Trey. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. And a fastball just a bit high. Right over the middle, knee high. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. High in the air out to center field. Santana has a read on it. Two gone. Here's Manny Machado now. Manny Machado. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Betts, running hard. He's digging for second. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Hey, he started the offensive production with a bang right there. That's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground rule double, and he's basically able to stroll into second base. Here's Chris Davis now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One-oh home. Grounded to first. 
Real Muto has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back to Fenway after this. Here's Mookie Betts, a hit in two tries so far. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill and wow a very high strike but a strike nonetheless and it's one and one the one one is looked at for ball number two. Three one. Well, ball three there, and you know the Sox would love to start an inning. Hey, a leadoff walk would be a great thing right now. And oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Hit in the air to right field. Trumbo has a read on it. One away. What you waiting for? What you think we came here for? There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Loop down towards short. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Number two, Sander Bogart. Ready once again, Sander Bogart. He's one for two in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Here's J.D. Martinez. Ball one. Ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. off for second. That's a strike to throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. 
liner in there for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see, he's up near the top, currently sixth in the AL in that category. Digging in once again, Andrew Benintendi trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Here comes the first pitch. There's a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. Thrilled to the left side. And there's his first base hit in this one. Boy, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0-2 pitch, d roll, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, he did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he pulled his neck and he stayed in. Tanner Scott answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the second run will score as this suddenly is now a 7-0 ball game. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over. In now, Eduardo Nunez. A ball and no strikes. Two base hits, both singles to this point. The 1 0. Popped him up. Davis over to his left, and that retires the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Red Sox lead it seven to nothing. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. So coming to the plate, Adam Jones. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
first delivery to him on the way. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Off the light tower, and it's gone. A solo shot here for Adam Jones. 24 home runs for him on the season, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Now Here's Mark is. Trumbo now. Right fielder, Mark. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Trumbo. A California born ball player. He was taken in the 18th round back in the 2004 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Now the 2 1 pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Betts has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Third baseman, number one, Tim Beckham. Digging in for his second at bat, Tim Beckham. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first is Beckham on his way to second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Now to the plate, Caleb Joseph, runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And there's ball two now. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. The 2 1 home. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he's set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Orioles get one on the home run by Adam Jones. Middle of the night at Fenway. It's the Red Sox seven and the Orioles one. Digging in to try it again. J.T. Realmuto. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. J.T. Realmuto. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line towards center field. Jones is there and he has it for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Sandy Leon.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and to the plate, Mookie Betts is working on a one for three thus far. comes the first pitch in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's one and oh love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball I know he hit the last guy but if he's going to have success he's got to establish that pitch in now the one oh is taken for ball two when you're down six on the mound you got at least throw strikes here. Leon, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Three and oh now. Now the three and oh offering is in there for strike one. Three and one pick. And this is with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The second base with number 15. Now with the play, Dustin Pedroia. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jones is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Here's Xander Bogarts now. We'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, and won the count. Rounded down the third baseline. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple. They're on top seven to one. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in Josh Harrison and Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No your one two three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one still time for them to turn it around though we'll see if it happens. First pitch coming here it is. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The windup and the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Soft liner to the left side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the How sixth inning. Him? Boy, after that really? base knock right there, mm -hmm. D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. You can't allow this offense to get going right here. 
Lead off man on doesn't kill us. Let's try and roll a double play right here. Let's execute a good pitch down and away. See if we can get a ground ball and rely on your defense a little bit. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. was definitely a two strike curveball there the catcher turns his glove over and tries to make himself big to block it but with no luck the ball skips away and it scored a wild pitch Misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Digging in and looking for more, Manny Machado. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. set here it comes late that time for a strike well the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game it remains to be seen if they can get it but now would be a great time for that on its way is pitch number 75 now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box Here comes the 0-2 pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. Pedroia back to first and Machado's retired as well. It's a double play. Really good pitch for the pitcher right there. Down in the zone, hits on top of it, induces the ground ball double play. Into the box now, Chris Davis as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Right over the middle, knee high. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Oh, Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Orioles lead one. They're down seven to one. For another chance, J.D. Martinez will lead it off as we start the home six. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A high fastball is in there. 
You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. And it's one and one. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. The 2-1. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Go, 0 1 count here's the pitch goodness 0 and 2 now ugly swing right there that pitch wasn't even close and he offered at it. I'm not sure right now if I'm the pitcher. You could probably throw anything you want up there and this guy's going to swing at it. And this is chopped foul with the plate. He stays alive still 0 and 2. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Ready with another 0 2. Missed with a slider. Skied into straightaway right. Trumbo has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now trying to pick things up where we left off. Domingo Santana drove in two with a double in his last at bat. From the stretch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Here it comes on 3 and 0. Oh. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. The 3-1. There's ball 4. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Digging in once again, Eduardo Nunez. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. He 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And look out. That's the third batter hit by a pitch, and this could become a big problem. How about it? Digging in to try it again. JT Realmuto. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. First pitch of the at bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Come set with the 0 and 1. Hit in the air out toward left. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. The throw to third. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. The catcher, number three. Sandy Riding in once Leon. again, Sandy Leon. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. Hit down the line at first. And Davis will just watch this go by. It's a fair ball. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Right now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Mookie Betts, and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Looking to minimize the damage here. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Ready with the one one pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever has got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. The 2 1. Line drive to center field. Jones is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's two runs on two base hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Red Sox 9 and the Orioles 1. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Here's Jonathan Scope now. It doesn't look very promising so far on this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Eight. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Yep. Two. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. That was aggressive pitching in that at that, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run, but listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. 
scooped up and that's the second out. How about it? Right fielder. Mark. Here's Mark Trumbo now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Lays off again and it's 2 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail big. It's nine to one. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Dustin Pedroia. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And Pedroia behind 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Lays off it to even the count two and two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Three and two, full count. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint to watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and zero. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The one zero home is offered at and missed for the first strike. One one line drive to left but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out boy sometimes they say you hit it hard good things will happen well that's not the case right there that was a bullet just stayed up and is caught in the outfield Here's J.D. Martinez as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Here's a strike. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's through for a hit. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. 
Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down in the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. And that's in there for his strike 1 and 1. Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit on the ground out for short, taken in by Machado, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for the Red Sox, but they still hold a commanding 9 to 1 lead. Ready for another shot now, Tim Beckham. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Here's the first pitch to him. A cold strike on the inside corner. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Now Beckham with a swing and a deep drive to left. And it's gone into the monster seats. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 15 for him thus far. But they still face a seven run deficit. Well they're not there yet but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. Just need to string some good at bats together now. Standing in now Caleb, Caleb Joseph. Joseph as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Oh. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. 2 and 0 oh count, here it comes. He takes a knee high fastball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Seared down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Pedroia now at second. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Josh Harrison stands in. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One out, nobody on. Oh, 
That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Up around the face. toward the alley in left center but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out and here's the big right-handed power threat Trey Mancini it was a walk in his last trip he's ready here's the first offering no balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Too short, hit hard. Bogarts has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Red Sox nine and the Orioles two. Michael Givens comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready once again, Domingo Santana. Center fielder, Domingo Santana. Here comes the first pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo shot here for Domingo Santana. Number 21 for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eight now. Oh man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. In now, Eduardo Nunez. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Base is empty here with nobody out. That's right. Wait for your pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Trumbull has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. J.T. Realmuto. One run in and one gone so far in the center. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. And did he hold 
called up in time. A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hold with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for pushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box now, Sandy Leone. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Two out, nobody on. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2 but now that they both missed I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in but you can't be too cute either. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. The 2 2. Swung on and missed strike three. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Orioles. Now an eight run lead at 10 to 2. The historic old state house here in Boston. Welcome back to baseball here at Fenway Park. Tyler Thornburg comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Tyler Thornburg. Here's Manny Machado now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. The 2-0. Is a fastball that misses. On deck, the powerful Chris Davis. Here it is, the 3 0. Line hard. Foul. Watch your lips in the first couple rows there. He got the head out on that changeup. Good thing they enforced the new netting rules this year. Now a swing and a fly ball. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Chris Davis. Here comes the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. That misses high, it's one and one. The 
the one two is it very well to right this one's hammered and it's going to go that one is gone It's a solo home run for Chris Davis, number 299 in his career, but they still face a seven run deficit. swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half it's strike one the Orioles find themselves losing in the late innings what are your thoughts on this one guys yeah Matty V this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go wow you hit the ball all the ballpark but still not enough offense it just goes to show you this sport is still zero all about pitching it is it's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there and there's just so many facets to the game defense base running it's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Got him, and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Stepping in now, Adam Jones. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0. Hard ground ball to third. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. The batter, right fielder, Mark Trumbo. Ready now for Baltimore. Mark Trumbo. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The 0 1 on its way. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Baltimore down to their final strike. Swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far, and they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. 10 3 at the end of this contest. The Bo Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Rick Porcello hangs win number 11 on his line as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Alex Cobb struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.